Day three of the prolonged fast. Made my L drink. There it is. Put one of the tea bags in it. Ate up my whole L bar. I went wild today. I made spearmint lemon tea first. That's my soup. That's my soup, my vitamins, spearmint tea for the afternoon. I'm going to have the crackers in the afternoon. And this is my big dinner, believe me, when everything else is gone. It's going to be very lonely there, and I'm going to look at it and say, I can't possibly only eat that. But that's all I'm going to have for dinner. And this is another secret. I put the salt in it. In the soup you're allowed to have the salt in it so that is day three not particularly much to eat but I'm on a fast so I said day two was I was feeling excellent and I did aerobics in the afternoon had a great workout no difficulty and uh, today is a great day, and I already did the uh, already did the uh, fifteen for fifteen thousand four hundred steps. It's it's a little less than little less than seven miles. Not bad. Yesterday only seven hundred. I had zero difficulties on day two, and so far I'm having zero difficulty on day three. Just did a long walk, ate before I did it, drank before I did it, and uh, looking forward to having uh, the rest of the day going great. Today, autophagy. I view the autophagy where your body is starving and it's saying, hey guys, whatever is not right, you need to get rid of it. I can't feed you all. I can feed the good guys, but the rest of you, we need more. Give me proteins. Give me amino acids. Go out there and eat stuff. So I'm going to put a video, and in the video will be a link to a food specialist. And he says that the tips of the nerve cells in the feet have folded protein. And that's exactly what happens in autophagy. It looks for imperfections. And it goes out there, disassembles those 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 uh, imperfections. What it can use, it uses it to feed the body, to redo the body if it needs to, and uh, then uh, you keep surviving. Otherwise, we die. And I'm also going to put a video of a general doctor discussing the concept of autophagy. So, beside my crude view of autophagy, you'll get some professional guys' point of apology. But that's what it is. Today I'm in autophagy. And I tell I want to say, I mentioned before I ever was going into the diet that I was going to come in in a ketosis state. And I came in a ketosis state. And I have, I've had no difficulty at all of transitioning into this fast. It's like, you know, it's better. Yesterday I was super energetic. Today I'm energetic. And uh, I just did a basic seven-mile walk, and and 
no difficulty at all. If it wasn't for the pain of my feet and the fact that Dr. Longo says don't walk in the heat while fasting, it's somewhere in the 80s, close to the 90s right now. So I, I stopped walking. If I was up north in, let's say, upstate New York in the mountains, I could have walked for another two hours. But not complaining. Enjoyed my walk. It was a beautiful walk. I did tape a video in front of this one that shows some of the stuff that I experienced on my walk this morning in terms of beauty. Well, that's it for today.